Hello students, welcome all of you. In the last class we have studied about distance and displacement. This class exclusively we are going to discuss about the problems related to distance and displacement. Before that let me uh, recap some of the important points related to distance and displacement. Distance is defined as the length of the path traveled by the body and uh, displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final positions. Displacement does not depend on the total path travel. Okay, and coming to the units, CGS and SI units both are same. CGS is centimeters and SI is meters. And uh, distance is a scalar quantity. Why? Because it has only magnitude. It doesn't have direction. Coming to displacement, it has both direction and magnitude. So it's a vector quantity. And uh, distance depends on the actual path travel. The displacement does not depend on the actual path. It only depends on the initial and the final positions okay and the distance traveled by the body in motion can never be zero or negative that is uh, when the body starts traveling then uh, there is no chance that the distance can become zero or negative distance will never be in zero or negative coming to uh, displacement displacement can be positive it can be zero it can also be negative we have seen this in the previous class and this class we are going to discuss some important problems related to distance and displacement okay children so let us start the numerical problems before we go into the problems the first i would like to explain to you the pythagoras theorem which you have already uh, learned in mathematics but that will be very helpful for us so let me explain to pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem what does the Pythagoras theorem says? For a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle. Suppose this is A, B and C. A C is the hypotenuse. Okay. And uh, A B is the adjacent side. And B C is the opposite side. So A C square is equal to A B square plus BC square. Suppose if I want AC under root AB square plus BC square. So this Pythagoras theorem will be helpful for us in doing some problems related to distance and displacement. <coughs> so you have to remember that is a hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite side square. Okay, right. Now, let us see the question here. A farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meters in 40 seconds. What will be the distance and displacement at the end of 40 seconds, 80 seconds, 2 minutes, 2 minutes 40 seconds and 2 minutes 20 seconds. So here, the farmer moves along the boundary of a square field. Okay, so the length is the length the side of the, the length of the square field is 10 meters. Okay, and the time taken to cross the 10 meters is 40 seconds. So here, if you want to find out the distance and displacement, you must know the position of the body. So A is the initial point. A is the initial point, and you must know the final position. So first of all, let us see the first one that is a solution for the A, that is 40 seconds. 40 seconds. So this is a very simple one. Why? Because already it is given that the 10 meters to cover the 10 meters the time taken is 40 seconds. So A and the body has traveled this distance B. Okay, and uh, it has covered 10 meters and the time taken is 40 seconds. The first one is very simple one. So what is distance here? distance from here to here it is 10 meters and what is displacement displacement is also 10 meters why because we can see that the body is traveling in a straight line so here the distance and displacement are both same okay now let us see the second one that is 80 seconds 80 seconds now we know that to cover from A to B it takes 40 seconds. Next another 40 that is from B to C. So it is like this.
okay so here it is 10 meters here also it's 10 meters and the time taken is 40 seconds and again another 40 seconds total 80 seconds right so let us see what is the distance here distance so the body has traveled a distance of 10 meters and another distance 10 meters so, so 10 plus 10 20 it is 20 meters now what is displacement So, in the diagram, so this is the initial point and the body is traveled like this and it has reached. This is the final point. This is the initial and this is the final point. So, what will be the displacement? I have to draw one straight line connecting AC. So, the displacement is AC. Displacement is AC. Right? Now, how to find out the displacement AC? You want the distance. So, we are going to apply the Pythagoras theorem. So, what is AC is here? AC is, so you can take this under root 10 square plus 10 square, okay. So 100 plus 100, 200. So instead of that you can also do 10 square plus 10 square. How many 10 square? 2 10 square, 2 10 square, okay. Under root 10 square, you are going to get 10 and we have the 2 inside. So 10 under root 2 meters and what is the direction this is the initial and this is the final so it will be like this okay so what is the direction of this let me say suppose this is north this is south this is east and this is west so it is like this okay so it is in this direction southeast southeast Okay, now let us see the third one. Two minutes. Now, as the body starts moving from A to B, as the farmer moves from A to B, it takes 40 and next 40, 80, and that is 80 is 1 minute 20 seconds. And as it again comes to D, it takes 2 minutes, right? So, let me draw the diagram. A, B, it has taken 40 seconds and again it has taken 40 seconds, so 80 seconds that is 1 minute 20 seconds and uh, here 1 minute 20 seconds plus 40, it takes 2 minutes, so total the final position is here, the initial is here and the final is this, so what is distance? distance what well, this is 10 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30 meters and what is displacement distribution so this is the initial and this is the final so it is in this direction and we have a direction okay what is this it is 10 meters 10 meters and the direction is south downwards 10 meters south so this is the third one <coughs> and the D that is 2 minutes 40 seconds already 2 minutes it has reached D another 40 seconds then it comes to A okay so the distance 2 minutes 40 seconds 40 plus 40 1 minute 20 seconds and till D it is total 2 minutes and another 40 it comes here so it is the distance is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 it is 40 meters whereas displacement the displacement is this is the initial and this is the final so the displacement is 0 okay right let us see the last one also that is uh, e 2 minutes and 20 seconds not 40 seconds if it is 40 it would have come to a since it is 20 seconds so the distance traveled by 10 minutes is 40 seconds so the distance traveled by uh, for 5 minutes uh, 5 seconds uh, that is uh, 5 meters is 20 seconds so here 2 minutes 
20 seconds. So the body will be around here. So this will be the final position. Okay. So what is distance now? Distance 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5. So it's 35. 35 meters. And what is the displacement? The displacement. So this is initial and this is final. So the displacement will be 5 meters. 5 meters and 5 meters south. That is the direction. Now let us go for the second one. Half round. The body completes half round. That is, let us say it starts from A and half of the rotation comes in. The body has reached C. Okay. Now what is the distance? For complete round, the distance was the circumference of the circle. Now coming to the half round, we are going to take half of the circumference. That is half into 2 pi r. Okay, the 2 to getting cancelled and the pi r that is 22 by 7 into 40. 44 centimeters. So this is the distance. And what is the displacement? The displacement is this is the initial point and this is the final point. So the displacement will be AC. What is AC? That is diameter of the circle. Okay, so 14, 28, 28 centimeter. 28 centimeter is the diameter and it is the displacement. Okay, now let us go for the third one that is one fourth round. So, one fourth round is it starts from A and it comes and stops at B. Okay, it starts from A and stops at B. <coughs> now, what is the distance? For one complete round, it was 2 pi r. For half of the round, it was half into 2 pi r, that was pi r. Now, coming to 1 fourth, so 1 by 4 into 2 pi r. So, it is pi r by 2. 22 by 7 into 2 into 14. 7 2 is a 2 2 it 22 centimeters. Okay, so that is the distance. Now coming to the displacement. So this is the initial point and this is the final point. So now I want the distance between these two points. So it is A B. Okay, so displacement. is a b now how to get this uh, a b so here let me draw here a b okay and i want this distance a b okay i want this distance now for that see we have the center O and this is the radius that is 14 centimeters and this is the radius again 14 centimeters. Now we can use the Pythagoras theorem. This is the right angle triangle A O B. From the right angle triangle so A B under root 14 square plus 14 square. Okay, so under root. 2 times the 14 square. So, when 14 is coming out at 14 under root 2 centimeters. Okay. And what is the direction? The direction this is the initial and this is the final. The direction is like this. So, that will be this is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. So, direction is like this. So generally the direction is like this. Okay, that will be southeast. 
south east okay if it is like this it is north east this is south east this is south west and this is north west okay children let us see the second question a body moves along a circular path of radius 14 cm as shown in the figure that is the body is moving along a circular path of radius 14 cm find the distance and displacement when the body completes one round completes a half round completes a quarter round and completes a 3 by 4 round so the body is making a circular movement okay and the radius is 14 cm so let us see the first one that is completes one round completing one round that is I am going to draw the diagram once again so it's complete one round that is the body starts from A and it completes one round and reaches A again the radius is 14 cm now let us see what is the distance distance what is the distance the distance is the length of the path traveled by the body now here the length of the path is the circumference of the circle so what is the circumference of the circle 2 pi r the formula remember this the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r so 2 into 22 by 7 into what is radius 14 So it's 88 centimeters. So this will be the distance. And uh, what is displacement? Very simple. As the body reaches the same position, so the displacement is zero. Okay, so here you have to remember that is the circumference of the circle. So that will be the distance traveled by the body to make one complete ground. Okay, children, now let us see the last one. 3 by 4 round. So distance from 3 by 4 that is from here it comes till here that is D. Starts from here and stops at D. Okay. So what is the distance 3 by 4 of circumference? That is 3 by 4 into 2 pi r. It is 3 by 2 pi r. 3 by 2 into 22 by 7 into 14. 2. 66 meters. Sorry, centimeters. Now coming to displacement. What is the displacement? So displacement is AD. Displacement is AD. Again, we can uh, see this is the center of the circle and this one will be the radius and this is the radius. So we can again form the that is a right angle triangle and we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So here AD is under root 14 square plus 14 square. So 2 times of 14 square you are getting 14 under root 2 centimeters. And what is the direction? This is the initial and this is the final. So the direction is this. So it is southwest. Southwest. Okay. So if I see here, I have just noted the results here. The, for one round, it is 88 centimeters total round. That is the distance. And the displacement as is in the same position, the displacement is zero. Now coming to the half round, the distance is 44 centimeters, half of the distance, 44 centimeters. And the displacement is 28 meters south. And a quarter round is again half of this, that is 22 centimeters. And a, the displacement is 14 under root 2 centimeters, that is a southeast. And coming to the 3 fourth, so it is 66 centimeters, that is the distance. And the displacement is 14 under root 2 
centimeters same as the quarter rotation but the direction is different it is southwest it is southwest i hope you have understood this problem children now we will go for the next problem See the next problem. A particle moves 3 meters north, then 4 meters east, and finally 6 meters south. Find the distance and displacement. Okay. <clears throat> Let us uh, say the body is here. This is the initial position. Let me say this is A. The particle moves 3 meters north. Okay. So we know the directions. north, south, east and west. So north. So it is going 3 meters north. 3 meters north. I will say this, I call this B. And here, 4 meters east. Okay. North, south, east and west. So here 4 meters. This is 4 meters east. And finally 6 meters south north east okay west and south 6 meters so from here to here it is already 3 meters and again 3 meters let me see this okay so let me see i'll just denote here d also and this is t okay so this is the question a particle moves 3 meters north then uh, 4 meters east 4 meters east and finally 6 meters 3 meters and 3 6 meters south. Find the distance and distance. So, what is distance? Distance 3 meters, 4 meters, and total 6 meters. Okay. 10 plus 13. 13 meters. This is the distance. Now, coming to displacement. What is the displacement? This is the initial and this is the final. Okay, so I'll just join this. So AE is the displacement. Now, how to get that? So we know that distance from here to here it is three centimeters. If I just uh, drop a line like this, so I'm going to get a right angle triangle here. A D E. And again, I can apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so this is uh, 4 centimeters, 4 meters, and this one will be 3 meters. Okay, I want AE. So AE is under root 4 square plus 3 square. Under root 16 plus 9. Under root 25. That is 5 meters. So, this, this is the displacement and it is fine. Now, what is the direction? Okay, what is the direction from here? So, it is this direction. This is the initial, this one. So, it will be like this. South, east. 